um, today is Human Trafficking Awareness Day. So um, I'm really I'm grateful that you were able to have me out here today and to speak on such an important topic. I am an avid, avid, and very passionate user of FOMED. FOMED is an anagram that stands for Free Open Access Medical Education, but that can definitely extrapolate to anybody with a mission that wants to get their voices heard through social media, Facebook, Twitter, Insta, um, LinkedIn, um, YouTube. I have, you have a YouTube channel. I also have a YouTube channel, and I think that if we use social media for positive outcomes, we can really get positive messages and a mission out there to the world. So if anybody wants to follow me on Twitter, it's at gcarvino. And anything going on locally, by the way, it will be on my Facebook page or my Twitter page. I always post anything locally, our human trafficking task force meetings that are open to the public. And then also we have sexual assault response teams meetings that are open to the public if you kind of want to know what's going on right here in Ori and Georgetown County. So, like I said, we have human trafficking. It's this buzzword. We hear all about it. It's going on. Let's get a better understanding of what exactly is human trafficking. So if we think about human trafficking, most of us think of this movie Taken. Yes. This girl from a rich, respectable family was taken out of the United States. She went to this European country and was taken at gunpoint, stolen, and sold off for um, sex trafficking. But that's a very small slice of the pie of human trafficking. Most people in human trafficking are not taken. It's not somewhere that happens overseas. 80% of human trafficking is occurring right here in the United States. It's our children. It's modern day slavery. And also, when we hear human trafficking, we automatically think sex trafficking. We also need to think labor trafficking. When we look at some of the top um, businesses that are involved in sex trafficking and labor trafficking, let's compare them to the businesses that thrive right here in Myrtle Beach area. The other thing is, Anybody want to guess the fastest growing demographic group for labor trafficking? Fastest growing demographic group. So right now, currently, it's females between the ages of 12 and 17, but we have one that's swooping right up. Our elderly population. Our elderly population are the fastest growing for labor trafficking. We don't need, and we don't have our community reason trafficking. <coughs> So again, 80% of those kids that are being human trafficked, they're not overseas. They're not being smuggled into our country. They are our children. The average age, it's actually went down um, since I made this slide, it's now 13 years old. Mm. 13 years mm. old is the average age a child is brought into the human trafficking trade. So currently, it disproportionately affects our, our kiddos between the ages of 12 and 17. And I want you to think back to when you were that age, 12 and 17. Boy, you were headstrong. Oh, headstrong. I don't want to listen to my parents. I'm surely not going to tell my daddy what I'm doing, right? So really, we need to open up those lines of communication with our children and make sure that we are constantly talking about this, this issue with our children so they are aware and they can come to us and talk to us. So uh, runaway, the average age a runaway is lured into human trafficking after they've stepped out of their home is about 48 hours, two days. Because those perps, they're smart. They're so smart. One in 10 children around the world are subject to labor trafficking. And again, just to point this out because this statistic